Welcome, my friends, to another Walking Dead discussion video. Okay, so let's talk about the last episode, shall we? And before I continue, yes, there will be spoilers in this video. I know the title itself is kind of spoilery, but, you know, it has been a good few days since the episode came out, and I think enough time has passed that I can put that kind of stuff in the title. Okay, so first, let's talk about the bite. So in the mid-season finale, Carl's bitten on the torso by a walker, which is pretty much a death sentence. I mean, if he was bitten on the arm, or if he was bitten on the leg, or any kind of other appendage, I mean, they, they could cut it off and he could he could survive i mean it happened with herschel they they cut off his leg sometime after he was bitten and he survived but you know when you're dealing with a bite to the stomach or the face there really isn't much you can do so right now it does appear that carl is going to die which honestly is it's just crazy to think about i mean carl dying arguably one of the main characters and considered to be i mean just the future of the show itself i mean this has certainly left people shocked and even in some cases annoyed and i i completely understand where those people are coming from the choice to kill off carl especially in this way it's it's kind of hard to understand right now, you know, why was this choice made, you know, and many people out there have been vocal about their disdain for Gimbal, the, the showrunner, kind of, and the decisions he's been making, especially with this latest season. Even Chandler Riggs' father has written a few comments about how he isn't exactly happy with Gimbal's decisions. So right now, it does seem like Carl is confirmed dead, even though we haven't actually seen him dead yet. I mean, unless everyone involved in this is playing some kind of long con or some kind of a game, and all this drama is fake to make it more impactful for the audience, which I don't think is the case but you never know. Okay, so now I want to get into the meat of this video, the whole point of this video, and I want to talk about the possibility of Cole surviving this, and how he would actually do so. So for this theory, I will be using parts of my Rick is a Walker theory, because they're going to be connected, so some of you are going to like that, and some of you are not, <laughs> but let's just jump right into this. Okay, so how does this tie into the Rick is a Walker theory? Well, this is simple. Carl is also a Walker, in the same way that Rick is. To put it simply, he has a mutated version of the virus, and what does this mutated version do? Well, it resurrects the whole body and the brain and not just the brainstem, basically reversing the person to being completely human again, just like with Rick. He died in the hospital and he came back completely the same and he hasn't really changed other than that the virus is now active in his body because he has died and been resurrected. And that's where he, that's where they technically are classed as walkers. Well, that's why I technically class them as walkers. They're not actually walkers. They're not rotting corpses. They're walkers because they have died and they have come back. And just like with Rick, it is possible that Carl has already died. And again, he has died more than once. So the first instance, of course, being where Carl is shot by Otis and he dies on Herschel's farm. Now, the show makes it seem like Herschel saved Carl by patching him up, you know, and I'm not I'm not criticising Herschel's medical experience or, you know, his attempt to save Carl, but maybe Carl died. Maybe he died on Herschel's farm. What if at some point he, he just died from blood loss or just a wound itself? And the resurrection process brought him back in the same way it brought back Rick. And then, obviously, all the characters just chalked it up to being Herschel saving Carl. But what if no one realised, not even Herschel realised, that Carl had slipped away and died at some point, and then he came back without anyone realising? Obviously, if that happened, and you didn't really know anything about this virus right now, I mean, at this point in the show, they didn't even know that everyone had the virus, like, dormant in them. Um, you, you would think that he was, you would think that he was saved by Herschel. Okay, so how does Carl actually have this mutated version of the virus? Well, one of the obvious answers would be that it was passed down genetically to him from Rick. And honestly, I think that would be fair reasoning. A lot of things are passed down genetically, uh, and this could definitely be one of them, just uh, this this mutated version of the virus. So that reasoning alone is fair enough, but I want to put forward another reason for Carl having the mutated version of the virus, and that is that Rick infected Carl with the mutated virus. If you remember, after Carl was shot, Rick was pumping Carl full with his own blood, because, you know, Carl had lost a lot, and Rick was a suitable match for Carl. So Rick was just pumping Carl filled with his own infected blood. I mean, Rick was giving him so much blood that he could barely stand. You know, Shane and Otis had to go and get the medical supplies. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little quick roundup for this first point. Okay, so Carl was shot and he was losing a lot of blood. Rick then began transferring his blood into Carl's body in an attempt to keep him alive, and Rick having a mutated version of the virus active in his body after already dying once at the hospital ended up infecting Carl with the mutated virus. So when Carl died, the mutated virus took effect and brought his whole brain back rather than just the brain stem like a normal walker. And like Rick, Carl was made essentially human again. So if you are actually having a hard time understanding what I'm talking about here, please do watch my video about the possibility of Rick being a walker. This video will make so much more sense if you watch that video. Okay, so I quickly want to touch on the second time Carl dies, and that is of course when he is shot in the face at Alexandria. I believe that he dies soon after getting shot there. But of course he comes back, obviously because he has the mutated version of the virus active in his body. Uh, and again, everyone chalks it up to him being healed by the doctor. Okay, so right there, that is my current theory 
with a possibility of Carl surviving the bite. I think I might make another video when I've kind of put all my thoughts more neatly together. I hadn't made a script for this video, I'm just going off on my head right now, so it's a bit of a mess. The Rick is a Walker video actually wrote a script for that, which I don't normally do for videos, and for this one I didn't, um, so... If it seems a bit like I'm all I'm all of, kind of over the place in this video, it's kind of because I am. I'm pulling it all from my head right now. Um, I might make a scripted version where I actually write all my thoughts down properly and neatly, and then I can make a um, a more concise and sharp video uh, about that. But in this video, basically, I just want to get all my thoughts out there as fast as I could um, because I've had a lot coming in and more and more just just keep flooding in. That I can't keep up, so I just had to get some of them out there. And this is the purpose of this video, but I will make a more concise video uh, hopefully soon. So yeah, that is my current theory. Please do take this with the largest grain of salt you can find. I'm not saying this is for certain, I would never make such claims, but honestly it would make sense, especially if the Rick theory is true. So although I've said all this, sadly it is looking like Carl is going to die in the show, unless the cast and crew are all lying to make us believe that Carl is really dead, which I don't really believe, I don't think they would take it that far, you know, <laughs> especially as far as starting fake Facebook drama between the showrunner <laughs> and one of the actors, uh, parents you know unless amc is that desperate to get viewers back up but anyway my friends i'm going to leave this video here if you like what you see feel free to leave a like and if you do want to see more consider subscribing i will see you in the next video goodbye for now